Okay, it is currently like five in the morning. Walking to the train station. Called an Uber, not Uber, but taxi to the train station. Going to Paris this morning. And so I'll see y'all on the train. Shop I just left the little view of the Aqua Tower. I'm um, walking to the souvenir shop now to get souvenirs, and then from there, we're going into the Eiffel Tower. So, I'll see y'all after I buy all my souvenirs. Just left the souvenir shop, walking up to the Eiffel Tower now. So, right now, I'm looking at it, so I'm gonna try to get a view for y'all. about to walk literally under the Eiffel Tower right now. Okay, so I am officially inside or at the top, whatever you want to call it, of the Eiffel Tower. I'm on the second floor actually, so I'm gonna show y'all my view. So they always tell you to like keep your things like in your sight and secure at all times, right? Everything is real compact here. So especially when you're standing in line and stuff or trying to get on the elevator, whatever you're doing, make sure you own your P's and Q's. Make sure you got your stuff secured. So I would, I'm gonna walk with the backpack that I brought in front of me. But now I'm we're walking. The tour guide is taking all the people that's on the tour to a boat. So we're about to do a boat ride right now. So the first thing that stuck out to me when I first got to Paris, the amount of intimacy shops that are all around here. And I got a few, a few videos 
so y'all see what I'm talking about. Like, it's like a intimacy shop every other store down from each other. when you get over there by the Moulin Rouge. But another thing I noticed y'all that was so crazy to me and annoying and a nuisance was when we had stopped at one of the spots to take pictures of the Eiffel, like of the Eiffel Tower or whatever case may be. This is before we actually got to the Eiffel Tower. We were swarmed by these certain type of natives. Like it, they were just all over this place and basically trying to take pictures. They were trying to sell us these, uh, these things that they got, like souvenir th type things. And then they was like, oh, let me take a, you like this photo? Let me take a photo for you. But it's like, no, I don't need you to take a picture for me for you to be having my phone in your hand so you can do anything you want to do with it. After that, y'all are known for running out of people's phones. That's insane. So that had me shook. And mind you, it was like every t every turn, like literally every five seconds, you had somebody coming up to you. And after a while, you were just starting to be rude to them because it's like, can y'all please just move? No, 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 no. Y'all not understand what no means. Get away from me and let me just take my pictures in peace. Alright, last stop of the day in Paris is the Louvre. Getting ready to go in now. I'm walking into the Louvre as we speak. And we'll shall see. walking through the Louvre and behind the tour guide and we're walking to the first thing we're walking to is the Mona Lisa the first off the Louvre is humongous There's a lot of people in here and so we're trying to hurry and get to the Mona Lisa so that we can get that out the way so everybody pretty much in line to go see go, go take a picture with the Mona Lisa personally I'm not doing it getting ready to get out of here out of the loop i'm actually going up the escalator so y'all can see i'm gonna get a picture of like you know the outside of the loop so i'm up here now as you can see about to go out okay, as you can see the loop is behind me see 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 but now i'm about to get a picture that night. Leaving Paris, I'm back at the train station. Headed back to London. Y'all wanna get there.